Good morning, first graders. This week we've been talking about opinions. That is something that you think about something or someone. Today I want to talk about the someone part. So sometimes, um, you know, we have beliefs and we have judgments, and this can come against people uh, in a bad way. So we always want to make sure our opinions are good towards other and in alignment with the word of God, what God says about people. All right. So I want you to think about a time maybe you had an opinion or a thought about something, a belief that you really felt about this person that might not have been good. All right. We know that God always thinks of people as um, good. Right. Uh, he's loving towards them. He's created them in his image. And so we want to make sure that we are always, always, always speaking things that the Lord is speaking. All right. And so did you know that God has an opinion about you? He is always positive. He's always encouraging. He's unchanging. He's consistently, consistently satisfying. He fills us up with goodness. And so we want to be that for others. Listen to these two scriptures. Ephesians 4.15 says, Instead, we will speak truth and love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. And then Philippians 4.8 says, Let's keep our thoughts continually fixed on things that are authentic, real, honorable, admirable, beautiful, respectful, pure, holy, merciful, and kind. That's a lot of really good thoughts. All right, we always want to make sure that we are praising him with our thoughts and then when they come out of our mouth, even to form opinion. Jesus, we know that your thoughts are not our thoughts and your ways are not our ways, Lord. Um, but we want to be in agreement with you. We want to think like you. We want to speak like you. So Holy Spirit, please come in. Please change our thoughts with the renewing of your word, Lord. Let us know your word. Let us know your truths so that we can act upon them. Lord, help us to form good opinions of others. Help us love others um, as you've loved us. And Lord, um, help us speak life over others, not death, Lord. Help us always to be positive as you've been positive, Lord. And God, forgive us for the times that we have not. Lord, we know that your mercies are new every morning. And God, we thank you for that. It's in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. All right, so we have two learning targets today. The first is going to be to identify determiners. So that's this, that, these, and those. You can also call those demonstratives. We want to match those with the noun cards. Um, and then our second learning target is going to be to research information about pale mail using not that, not the uh, read aloud, the big book, but that text what's best um, the debate about pale nails ma uh, nest. And so let me briefly go over what a debate is. Here is our definition. It says, a discussion involving people who feel differently about a topic. All right, and so in this debate, we are gonna see that many of us have different opinions and we wanna figure out what is going to be best, keeping this nest up or taking this nest down. So let's see what we all come up with.